might find in this zone of the highly unique and the highly unwanted. For instance, exactly what kind of people will you put here? They're unique, and yet I don't think you'd want to have dinner with them or cross their paths. Revolutionaries. Yeah. Revolutionaries. Your average serial killer. Average serial killers. <laughs> That's right. Larry Ellison. Larry, well, you know. <laughs> That's a good start. A world that at its worst contains sociopaths, psychopaths, the evil, the conniving, and those that are simultaneously highly skilled and highly dangerous. You are perhaps seeing the worst of what I call the veil of curiosities. Interestingly, the veil of curiosities is also where most creativity comes from. Once we get past the criminal class, we'll discover that this is where Van Gogh got his start, and unfortunately, spent most of his life. It's where Larry Page and Sergey Brin first started refining their search engine software at Stanford in the late 1990s, since all the Googles were started here. And we'll see that the Vale of Curiosities is a region of immense fascination, a resource where storytellers and thrill seekers alike. Here are oddballs, cranks, and unsuccessful cults. The sector also contains most of the young, who are inherently unique and yet not well enough developed to be valued by society. We can think of the Veil of Curiosities as the Star Wars bar of the map of value. <laughs> you never know who you're going to meet here. You might even meet Larry Ellison. And finally, we come to the intersection of the unique and the desired. This is where the best of everything, as far as each individual is concerned, is to be found. Welcome to the land of dreams, which by definition can never be crowded. The land of dreams is the place where the value of everything is at its highest, where people who can supply their unique talents are, happily, are handsomely compensated, from CEOs to hairdressers to heart surgeons. And even amongst these, the most differentiated are valued even higher by those who can afford and want their singular services. An average lawyer over in the Northwest zone bills at three or $400 an hour. A great barrister who is able to cross the line with a mere phone call, can generate billings in the thousands. In the land of dreams, every diamond has a name like Winston or Tiffany. Vehicles are Bugattis. Dresses are by Chanel. And shoes, of course, are by Manalo Blahnik. In this pleasant zone, fine art lives, so long as it is in fashion. Since to be in this zone, you must be considered essential 